Hey guys, welcome to the Slightly Salted Podcast. In this episode, we discuss our thoughts on the up-and-coming Red Dead Redemption 2. We give our feedback on the recently released trailer, which has now been confirmed after our podcast that all of the footage captured was using the PS4 Pro in 4K. Tell us what your thoughts are about Red Dead Redemption 2, and if you plan on picking it up when it comes out. So, Anton, I'm going to leave it to you. Start us off, we were just talking about how I am super skeptical that it's actually going to look this good on PS4 Pro, even. I think I'm hopeful. I think there's a lot of people that if you showed them this trailer for the very first time, uh, probably, like, their intuition would be like, oh, yeah, this is probably running at a very, like, high-end PC. And the main reason for that is that, like, there's some details in this trailer when you actually like break it down that are kind of crazy like so wagons are leaving marks in the dirt um there's a scene where there's a couple of horses and they're leaving sort of um trails in the snow and that's really taxing like from a physics perspective and because you're doing all of that like live as the as it's uh as the action is taking place so who really knows i mean I wish they would have showed something at the very end of the trailer that said, you know, like gameplay captured on PlayStation 4 Pro or something like that. Yeah, they did. But, they did put that part in there that said like this was all in real in-game footage, but yeah, that doesn't technically yeah. specify yeah. whether that's you know PC or PS4. Exactly. exactly. I look. I hate to go back to it, but Destiny when that first got revealed as you know in-game footage, and everybody's like, oh my god, and then it wasn't that. I. I really hope Rockstar wouldn't do that. I don't think they have a history of doing that. Yeah, so that's this, that's what I was going to say. Gorgeous. Like, you know, they they could have done something like that for GTA and we really didn't I don't I don't remember anyone feeling that way that they got gypped in some way where GTA 5 and the, you know, trailers looked so much better than what it was on the on the consoles. Right. And that was way before PC came out. So, I mean, like, yeah. I, I think the way that I view this is, look, I mean, maybe it's not exactly the same, or maybe it will be, but if it's not, and it runs smooth, it's going to be a great fucking looking game. Oh, yeah. So, uh, GTA yeah. 5 is a little weird one, though, because, I mean, that one did come out, what, PS3, then That's PS4? True. That's true. Optimized for whatever, HD or whatever, remastered. Great, yeah. I bought it each time, and I'm assuming that's what Rockstar is going to do again. They're going to put it PS4 an xbox so i'm gonna buy a ps4 a year later they're gonna come on pc i'll buy it on that then ps5 fucking make it vr yeah. ps5 switch and by the time if this is half as good as the trailer looks i'll own it six different times so fucking you win rockstar yeah i agree i mean i think regardless of what ends up happening i don't think that this <clears> is going to be a case of like the division where we saw you know the e3 trailer and it was like whoa this looks doesn't even remotely look close to that game i right. think that they're gonna probably deliver on this uh my biggest thing is that i just hope the gameplay is smooth um so one of the things that i was able to kind of pick out from this trailer is just how fluid like the hand-to-hand -hand combat is yeah and the shooting yeah. mechanics and for me like that <clears throat> means like frame rate needs to be solid right like in order for you to have a good experience and especially in an online environment, right? So like when we go to transition over to multiplayer, hopefully that you they can at least push like at the very least 30 FPS stable. Um, but, and, and again, this is completely unknown. Only time will tell. Obviously we won't get a beta for this game or anything. So it's really just gonna be yeah, like day one, point. see what happens. Um, one interesting little fact that we see sort of at the very end is that they disclose that there is gonna be uh, it looks like a, a few more featurettes uh, before release. You know, like they talk about yeah. the combat and uh, I think missions, like ice and missions, side missions and stuff. Which yeah. is one thing. Watching this trailer, like I, I'm not one to just walk around in games often. To be honest, uh, Red Dead Redemption, the first one I did for like a little bit, that was really cool. Skyrim, do for an extent, but as soon as I you know get those quick travel points. I'm a busy man. I'm going to fucking fast travel. This game, I might not. Like, even in the trailer when they show, like, not even going around on horses quickly, but, like, literally just walking, that looked fun to me, which is weird to say. But just walking through that forest, the alligator, crocodile, whatever, coming out, just seeing all this 
as they put, I think, more deep and open world environments. I'm all about that. The missions are great, but I honestly just exploring this game sounds like it's going to be worth the money. Yeah, they've done a good job at really trying to keep you into the game, right? And even when you look at this historically, the reason I feel so good about this game is because, you know, Rockstar has done a great job at building up their franchises layer by layer and seeing the improvements upon them, right? So when you look at a Red Dead Redemption and look at what that was, what that multiplayer was, and then migrating that into what GTA 5 is and layering that. And now, you know, I know they're going to take those aspects and the, the goods and, and get rid of the bads for this. Like, I'm so right. excited for it. But Red Dead Redemption was one of those few games where I did actually complete all the way through. Um, I was that guy that was taking my horse and going from town to town. And just because, you know, travel and the things that you would find out in the middle of nowhere, they just had little random, you know, side missions or things that would just happen. Like people that would try to rob you or act like they were in distress, but then, you know, pull out a gun. Um, I'm super excited for that, and I think that this is going to transcend that really well. And I think what's really good is Anton was mentioning to me about how important the horses are and how they're really trying to get you connected to your actual yeah. horse. I'm so excited for that because I do remember in the other one where I didn't I didn't have that connection, right? But just, oh, yeah. you know, what you can do with this now is just, it's on another level. Get a ha Get a horse, leave it, it dies. Okay, let me grab another one. This right. one, if my horse dies, I feel like I'm going to freak out. Yeah. And probably take out the whole town. Yeah, I think, like, the, the biggest thing that I get from this trailer is how varied <clears throat> this world is, uh, which is something that I always worry in a game that's this wide open, is, like, are you going to get those varied environments? But this feels like the there's, like, the desolate parts, but there's also the parts that feel like they're very lived in. And, um, and like, when you walk through some of those towns, you're just, like, it's blown away. Honestly, I had to slow down the footage multiple times just to be like wow that's a lot of details that they're putting into these little in every little nook and cranny for you to discover and that's always exciting so um the other thing too is like uh just like we get kind of a glimpse at it in here but like all the side activities and like the hunting it seems like fishing is going to be a thing um right. obviously horseback riding we expect that probably race uh you know horseback racing and things like that but, like, it's all these other things. And, like, the characters, too, is really, really impressive in this game. Like, in this, in this trailer, I mean, we, we've seen a bunch of the characters, obviously, over the course of the last two trailers. But this one, it's just, like, you really get to see, like, whoa, there's a lot of variations. There's different races. Uh, and, like, nobody, even in the background, like, when you look at the characters, everybody looks different. Like, nobody's wearing the same right. thing. It's To me, it's just an insane level of detail that... I've never seen in a game like in that's this open. So yeah, that's, really that's actually one thing that when I think of you know outlaws and whatever, you see them around the camp in a couple of scenes, you know, shooting the shit, drinking, whatever. They're being outlaws. They're trying to get away from society. Although I mean, it looks like the storyline. You can make good choices. Be a hero, just kind of like in the first one. But this one's probably more fluid in the choices you're making rather than the last one was kind of like okay here's a big choice make it type situation but right. this one was interesting with the camp they were actually you know showing around like women and children singing and things like that and making you realize it's not like you know four guys sitting around a fire at night drinking it's like oh you you actually have a community and exactly. I'm very curious to see how that transition if it's I mean, I'm assuming they're going to move with you town to town. I, I'm yeah, so there was, very there curious was, there was that something goes. that was noted, like, in the um, female narrator that was kind of going through the, the footage, right? They explain how, like, you know, uh, your outlaw gang will travel, right? And that's where they pick right. up camp and move camp around. So it, it will be... Uh, I'll be curious to see how how that's going to be, and I because I can imagine that you'll be doing different things to level up level up in the sense of you know improving your your little uh, community, right? Uh, hunting, I'm sure, is part of that and whatnot. So um, I'll be curious to see how that that plays out. Yeah, I mean, it's still like base building, but this is going to be I'm assuming more of like upgrading your base, things like that, that relocates with you. I would assume rather than you know like. Fallout 4 base building where you right. build in and it stays yeah. there. 
I mean, I imagine a lot of the the crafting will probably take take place at your camp, right? So like you bringing in the animal hides and right. curing them and that sort of thing. But then you probably also have to kind of go back to the town and to sell a lot of the goods that you're getting to kind of upgrade the camp that way as well. But to me, the exciting part is that like that means like the game is always going to be evolving in a sense like that we probably like we don't see too much like the since you're going to be moving you're going to be seeing different environments automatically with the cam and i think that's also going to be um exciting because it's going to unlock like quests right like along the way so from the people from the different people in your camps like so based on what part of the map you're on maybe like different they're all going to have their different sort of um agendas and whatnot so it'll be interesting to see like okay from this character because we're in this area now they they're interested in this one specific thing and they have these specific tasks for me to go do um right. and i'm also interested to see like how much of that will be dynamic you know like can people in your camp get sick can someone get like attacked by a oh, bear God. while you're in this area like that's going to be really interesting to see if there's like that dynamic element as well so i'm very excited for it although you brought up a comment like the getting sick part things like that i there's an extent to it. Oregon There's trail. a really fine balance. <laughs> yeah, fucking Anton Oregon, wants trail, Oregon Trail like, with this mixed <laughs> I want, That's his I dream. want the Oregon Dream to come back. <laughs> I want it. This, this is especially there's a there's a clip in the trailer where you see like the wagons moving right with your whole camp, and I'm right. just thinking to myself, oh my god, like if they can combine that survival element with it, it would be fantastic. So. <sighs> I, if there's a separate mode for that, I will play the shit out of it. But if that's kind of like a routine thing where it's like, oh, no, I got to go back to camp and heal this person. I'm in the middle of this cool thing, but I don't want to let someone die. I'm That is a very fine balance of taking care of your camp, upgrading your camp and everything versus it becoming a chore. No, so, I, I agree. I, I don't I don't think they would build like some kind of. Uh, like UI where you're managing your camp like let's say like you're talking about like you're in the middle of a mission yeah. or you're in town the last thing you want is to have like a UI pop up I and mean, it's like uh, Patricia has been bit by a snake do you want to like Dude, that, you know that's what State of Decay 2 honestly kind of became mm -hmm. for me like it was cool I like the kind of concept and really I mean yeah Super no, I, we played I, that a bit, but I, we didn't get that far. But even that part, I was like, oh, God. No, I, I really, and I, and I was telling, like, Dion this, I think that this is a fantastic idea, um, which lends, uh, I guess, us into kind of like another point, which is how big is this map really going to be? That's a really yeah. important thing, because uh, if that is a multiplayer <laughs> mode, that would be an incredible idea, right? Uh, because you're going to be with your camp at all times. You don't have to go off in random directions. You're there to manage these things as they happen. But that's going to play a big part of, like, is this map large enough that I can start at random points and end at other points or whatnot with my camp? So I think I think multiplayer is the most... I'm so curious on how they're going to play that out, right? The story's super compelling, right? Like, I'm already sold, right? And yep. even with, like, Grand Theft Auto, like, I knew what multiplayer was going to be like, right? Like, I knew it was going to be a city, there's going to be a bunch of players in it, yeah. and, you know, I knew it was going to happen. With this, it's like, I know there'll be something that are, like, heists. I'm sure there'll be bank robberies where you do that with your friends, but I don't know. It's just, I don't know what, like, how they're going to incorporate that, how you're going to team up, if it's just a big world and you're all kind of sporadically in there like Grand Theft Auto. I don't know, man. I I'm really curious to see how that how that's really going to be. I, I think based off of GTA 5's, success with multiplayer it's going to be honestly i think a similar model obviously it's gonna be a little different being a lot of west and everything but i think there's going to be either you can go in the environment you know with a server of uh, honestly i hope it's a high number 50 100 something like that just free roam do a little side stuff co-op go around horses kill npcs bad guys whatever but then there's going to be modes where it's like okay i just want to do horse racing i just want to do team deathmatch i want to do free for all things like that i i mean that's just my assumption based on gta 5 is a testament to how much money rockstar can make in an online mode yeah or just playing poker with people or you know doing those little mini games and shit yeah but, and that's uh, what they had uh, in the first one right so red dead redemption had right. just off the top of my head i remember poker i remember like a free area where you kind of would just walk around i remember like a you know, like a team deathmatch type of thing or something like that where you would just straight try to kill people um, so, and I do remember something, wasn't there something like bounty related to, like if someone killed a lot, bunch of people, they had like a bounty on their head. Um, maybe I'm making yes. that up. I can't remember. Yeah, yeah. that does no. sound familiar. 
No, and I, I, and I, I played Team Deathmatch a lot in that game, to be honest. When that first came out, like, after I beat the story, I played Team Deathmatch quite a bit. Um, just like Last of Us, where it's like that multiplayer, I didn't get that game for that multiplayer, but I still enjoyed that to supplement the game. Not, It's not like a Call of Duty, which I'm you know, obviously going to play just for multiplayer, but this I is, mean, I, it's, a, it's a good addition. Not something I, that's going to sell me on it, but. Yeah, I mean, I think it'll be interesting to see, right? Like, we don't, maybe one of the featurettes will definitely find, I think it'll be, probably be the final featurette if they were going, like, with the GTA Five model. They always wait, essentially, as the final trailer is when we finally get to see <laughs> multiplayer. Um, but the fact is, though, it's interesting because we, like, there's pre-order bonuses that deal with your camp for multiplayer. And so I'm thinking, like, okay, what is that? How is your camp going to play a big part in multiplayer? Like, what does that really mean? Or what are the game systems around that? I think we oh, can sure. expect that, like, that mini games will come back, right? Like, you're going to have the card games, your shooting games, your, your racing games. But they're speaking about this as if there's going to be some pretty unique, like, innovative multiplayer idea specifically that was built for this game. And that's the part that I'm really intrigued by to see, like, what is that really going to look like? Because free roaming, I think it's been done. It's the easy way to say, throw a couple of people together in a game and just have them repeat missions or do like bounties or, you know, uh, co op missions and things like that and heists like GTA 5. But I'm definitely curious to see, like, what do they have? And I'm thinking it's going to be, like, to me, one of the best things actually about the original Red Dead was when we got the Zombies expansion because it was so off rails and but it was also like one of the funnest modes to play in that game so definitely curious to see what they'll be able to do with multiplayer in here yeah i, I actually didn't know about the pre-order bonuses are those specific like gamestop yeah. or whatever ones yeah there there's a bunch of digital pre-order bonuses and one of them basically that's how people were able to kind of pick it apart is that it um it deals with customizing your camp in multiplayer specifically hmm that's interesting so. So only time will tell. Obviously, we yeah. can't really read too much into that until we really find out what that means. You know, maybe it's maybe it could be something as simple as just like, oh, your camp and multiplayer just has a bit different visual look. But I don't know if it's going to lend itself to actual gameplay or it's if it's integrated within the specific game systems. Yeah, it will be interesting. Even like the horse dynamics and movement and stuff looks obviously much improved from the original, but a lot more agile and things like that. So curious if there's going to be you know. Horse leveling and multiplayer and shit like that too to you know make it so you're a little quicker yeah. on your mouth. Yeah, this this game honestly, every time I see just another clip, it just looks breathtaking and like oh, yeah. the level the level of animation throughout. Like you you see like uh, as the horses like wiggle their tail and you're just like whoa. Like if if like if they're putting this level of detail on something so small, you're just like it kind of blows the mind that like in a game that's going to be this big like wow that's like that's a lot of work so yep. but it's exciting definitely looking forward to what the next um trailer will be and i believe the next one is going to show us more of like the heists and how your gang kind of doing things with your gang how those activities are going to play out yeah so, i mentioned uh, gang yeah. gang wars as well right so other other competing yep. gangs so that'll be really cool too yep. yeah and i'm uh, maybe that's going to tie directly into multiplayer who knows yeah. let's hope it's next week because no now wrong, at no. this point, I can't. They need to do an update every single week. <laughs> a long, what, uh, two and a half months? Yeah. I mean, they're uh, definitely going to milk it. I think you're going to get something maybe every two and a half weeks. Um, so looking maybe another two to three featurettes at this rate. But sounds they, good. you, you got to let it breathe. You got to get that. You got to get that trailer to like 30 million views. So uh, that, that won't take long. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay. Well, on that note, we should probably stop. Um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, the Slightly Salty Squad talking about Red Dead Redemption 2. I'm sure we will be doing many more of these as soon as we see part two and hopefully beyond that. So thanks for watching.